Hi guys, it's Alea. Welcome to this little segment of Crafting for Cash. My name is Alea Leyland and I am the author of Craft Cash. I did a Craft Cash series um, in 2010 telling people and sharing with people how to take their skills that they already had and turn them into money because at this time everyone is looking for another way to make money and you've got enough stuff in your closet to make money. Um, there was a survey done in 2010 that said the Small Business Administration did this um, and they said that the number of self-employed women around the country jumped by 10 percent from 2000 to 2006 and it has gone to 5.3 million. I will guarantee you that at this point it's probably well over 7 million people, females, who are self-employed. And a lot of women look at their life and they go, I don't know what to do. Now, if you have lost your job, if you're on unemployment, or if you've gotten laid off, or you know whatever the reason is, even if you are already working, still working, but you want to bring in some extra money to make the house payment, to get some extra things, whatever the reason is, you have what it takes in your house. You don't have to go out and buy anything. You have what it takes in your house in order to create something that you could sell. Whether it's to people in your office, whether it's to at a yard sale, whether it's to rent a storage space and set up your own little store out of a storage space, you have what it takes in order to do that. And it's, it's a matter of thinking outside of the box and looking at what other people need. Now, some people do really well with shopping yard sales. There's, there's so many different ways to make money, and I'm calling it craft to cash, but um, it doesn't necessarily have to be crafting, because the, the biggest thing is to make stuff look, um, look and be useful. So the, the thing that I'm going to cover today is going to be, um, it just popped in my head. I was going to tell you guys how to make stuff out of your house, but today I'm going to tell you how to find money on the street, okay? Everybody and their dog is having yard sales because people are moving, they're downsizing, they are selling their houses, they've lost their houses, you know, whatever the reason, there's always yard sales. Well, when the economy is down, everybody wants to shop at yard sales instead of going to the regular stores. Now, this is where the money is for you. Shop the yard sales. Look for the things that are dirty. You know, they're not, they're not quite shiny and, and sparkly, but that they can be cleaned up. They can be made to look nice again. Look for those things. Buy them for as little as possible. And at yard sales, you can buy them pretty cheap. <laughs> you know, you can get sometimes something really nice for a quarter or 50 cents or maybe a dollar. Okay? The idea is to buy things that you can then make attractive. All right, and then take those things, take them home, clean them up, make them attractive. Maybe they need a little something fixed on them or whatever. Do things that you can that that you can repair. So if if you have no mechanical skills whatsoever, then don't do something that needs to be fixed mechanically. Find something that just needs to be washed. Okay. <laughs> um, and, and then wash them. And I can tell you guys how to, how to clean up just about anything. It's really amazing, particularly with electrical appliances and that kind of thing. So find the things that can be cleaned up. Clean them up. Take them to your space and put them in there. Now, you can rent a, a small in a high traffic neighborhood. Okay, Make sure that it's a place where there's a lot of people and where people are moving through. Create a space in a storage locker that has a drive up, um, find a space that has a drive up entrance and set up your own little store and pull things that you have found at yard sales and that people are getting rid of and put them in your own little store and open up on the weekends and have your own little garage sale. 
And, you know, maybe you bought it for $2 and you can sell it for 4 Okay? That's doubling your money. Maybe you bought it for a quarter and you can sell it for 50 cents. But there will be times when you bought it for a dollar and you can sell it for 15 And those are the times that you're looking for. Those are the times that you're looking for. I had a friend who, um, the, the man made all of his money buying and selling junk. <laughs> you know, and Sanford and Son, we laugh at Sanford and Son and we go, oh, he's a junk dealer. You know what? Sanford and Son, those kind of people make a lot of money. And a recession, a time when there isn't a lot of money out there, is when those people make the most money. Because they're in the middle of the mix, okay? They, they are buying from people who are wanting to get rid of stuff, but they're providing stuff at a reasonable price for people who want and need new stuff and don't want to spend all the money to buy brand new stuff. So take this tip today and, and go yard sailing and just see what's out there. You don't have to buy anything, but you know, maybe give yourself a budget. 20 bucks, okay? And um, and then just see what you can get for 20 bucks. Don't buy it yet because there's going to be yard sales over and over and over again. So right now you're on a fact finding mission, okay? So just go out and just yard sale for one day um, next Saturday. Just go out and yard sale and see what's out there. You will be surprised. And, I'll, I'm, and tomorrow I, or the next time I do a video, I'll give you something else. But remember, you can always make money. There is always money out there. It's just waiting for you to come and get it. <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? All right, I'll talk to you later. Remember, craft to cash. And that can be something you made. It can be something you bought. It can be something you reassigned. Take care. Until next time. Bye now.